Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Illinois Arts Council Agency, and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald. Uh, between Hamilton and Nauvoo at 10 Acre Tree Houses, one of the most unique lodging experiences you'll probably find anywhere in Illinois. And another unique thing about this, you're going to learn what a tree house is, but the man that put this together built these all by himself, designed and built them all by himself. So here's a look at 10 Acre Tree Houses. Bob Hop, you've got Three places here where people can stay. Two, two or three houses. Yep. And one's an old log cabin. Yep. We get a chance to see all three of them here. But we're we're standing in front of your first tree house. Right. When did you build this one? This one I built in uh, 2013. Uh, it was just a whim I had. I'd watched uh, Treehouse Masters on TV and kind of got the idea to maybe yeah. do something. And it was just going to be my little man cave kind of thing, hangout. And uh, when it turned into a rental. I showed it to a fr friend of mine from Nauvoo who has rental property, and he said, you should rent this out. And uh, I was like, really? I didn't <laughs> think it would be that big of a deal. But I looked, went online and looked at other places mm -hmm. and thought, well, maybe, maybe it would be. So I did a profile mm -hmm. and put it out on the web, and I had my first booking in 24 hours. Is that right? It was a couple from Chicago, yeah, a Chicago PD op police officer yeah. and a Chicago school teacher, mm -hmm. and their three dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And they came down. So you do allow you allow dogs. I in the do allow dogs and kids, <laughs> uh, and uh, they they wanted to get out of the city for the Fourth of July, yeah. and that's when they came down here for yeah. to spend the. And that was my first guest. Yeah. You you've got a construction background, so yeah. for you to put together something like this, pretty easy for you because you can feel like well you know, and you kind of what do you do? Take a look at what materials you have, and then sort of design. From kind of you can tell I use a lot of reclaim, so there's a lot of barn wood, and then there's old rusty tin, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I just did the basic platform, which is a basic deck, and then, uh, and then I'd go from there. I built the walls and then windows. I'd get windows wherever you could yeah. find them, doors. Yeah. So, so you don't work from a blueprint? No. No, you just you can say, okay, this is what I got, this is what I want, yeah. so I'll just, and you I'll start just, building. Whatever comes out, comes out. <laughs> well, listen, this is really fun. Let, let's go inside, okay? okay. Because the inside, it, it's very small, but it's very utilitarian. Yeah, yeah it's very cozy yep. <laughs> is the word I hear. Cozy, huh? Yeah. Now, this one has an, they all have a name, right? All three units. Yeah, have they a name. all have a theme. What's this one called? This was the white tail. Okay, and, and, and why is that? Um, <laughs> well, uh, my brother is a deer hunter, and mm -hmm. he uh, he offered up his first deer mount of the first deer he ever shot. So. Okay, and, and that's what we're that's the that's fellow that, that we're looking there. at here. The, the oh, okay. Old looking guy. That's really a very fine looking animal. Yeah. Yeah. And that was his first. That was his first. Very first deer. one he'd ever got. Buck, I would say. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it was his first deer, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's where the name came from. Mm -hmm. And again, now th now this looks like you, you put a lot of new material in here, and you had a lot of material that you just had hanging around. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, this one I did use more uh, like new material but then like the ladder you can tell is old yep. that i made and, and you, you uh, have to want to climb because if you're going to yes. use the bedroom which is Upstairs. you got to climb it's very close to the door so you climb up and then there's a loft yep and uh, and then there's a queen be, a queen, queen bed mattress up there, up there okay. and that's strictly that's okay. strictly a sleeping loft refrigerator uh-huh coffee pot microwave microwave and everybody wants to know about the bathroom of course exactly now toilet. you run into some problems here because you have to turn the water off in the winter time right? exactly because uh, uh, pipes will freeze and yeah. so I provide a five gallon crock for water for washing hands and mm -hmm. brushing teeth mm -hmm. and things like that. And how does the toilet work? The toilet, it's a compost toilet, it's a very simple design, mm -hmm. it's just a five gallon bucket with mm -hmm. sawdust uh -huh. and so you uh, use it, instead of flush, you put sawdust in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> and every unit has an outdoor shower. Exactly. Right? Yep. Now this time of year, oh, I would water. Be... <laughs> even if you Nobody... had water, you wouldn't be out there in no. the shower. But but you do have it heated for, for when you can turn the it's water on in the summertime. It's a hot water shower even okay. in the summertime. Can, can we go out? Sure. Let, let's, let's just go ahead, because I want to see something else while we're out there. Okay, Bob, we're on the back deck, and of course that's where the outdoor shower is here. Your, your bucket has holes in the bottom, so it comes out as a shower head, right? right. That's the point. Yep. And, uh, and of course, in the, in the summertime, that would feel pretty good, because you heat the water to about 100 degrees, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So it, even in a hot day, it feels good, because you got the breeze 
you know, usually have a breeze. And <laughs> yeah. Cools. And you got you got your privacy. So if there is yep. anybody in the woods, you you got your privacy. Exactly. And the side of the the, the back here with all these license plates, what what in the world are we well, looking at? Well, th again, that was stuff I had, and uh, when I was building this, I was trying to, you know, decide what I was going to side it with. Mm -hmm. And I used to I used to live in Maryland, and a friend of mine gave me a box of license plates. And I moved that whole box back here from Maryland. Why, I don't know. <laughs> so when I built this, I remembered I had that box of license plates mm -hmm. in the garage. So I brought them out and yep. I was like, well, that's well, going to be siding. I'm, I'm gonna, that's right, <laughs> siding. I'm, I'm going to use this. I, now I know why I hauled all this in here. Huh? That's right. <laughs> okay. Now this was your first unit. It's a small unit. 220 square feet. When, when you built your second one, though, we're going to go next. Yep. And it's around the way here. You put a little more time, energy, and expense into this one. You can see it's quite a bit bigger. Well, you know, once I built this and the rentals were doing well, uh, I thought, well, one's good, two's got to be better. Mm -hmm. So when I built the second one, I was planning on going bigger so you could have a, a family or a, a bigger group of, of people. Yeah. So that's why I went bigger on the second yeah. one and was thinking more in the rental idea of, you know, I'm going to yeah. be renting this out. So can, can we go over there and take a look at that? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Now, Bob, you can walk between the tree houses and uh, you have a number of bridges that go over the little ravines here and you built the bridges too, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> it's a marvel to somebody like me. Uh, another another uh, product of necessity. Yeah. So you built the bridges and, and you also have um, up, up on these 20 acres here, you have hiking trails. Yes. So if you're tired of being inside, you want to get out, you're, you're in the, the woods of central or at west central Illinois here, and it's, it's wonderful, wonderful, beautiful place. Yeah. Looks like the Ozarks. It's really hilly. Yeah. yeah. It's nice, and people really enjoy it when they come down here, especially if you're coming out of Chicago and you're not used to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, a, a big change of pace. Okay, this was number two, right? Number two. What's what's the, the theme of this one? This one... Uh, uh, I was in the Navy for 25 years, yeah. so I wanted to do a nautical theme. So this one has a nautical theme to it, uh -huh. hence the Captain's Quarters is its name. It's called the Captain's Quarters? Captain's okay. Quarters. You're still decorated for Christmas, so you got your work ahead of you to get your Christmas Yeah, we had that snow and ice, and uh, yeah. I haven't had a chance to take everything down, but <laughs> it makes it look festive. It so. does. It yeah. really does. Yeah. Okay, as we're looking at the outside of this, how did, you, how did you plan this? How did you conceive it in your head, what it was going to look like? Well, uh, again, I, I knew I was going to build a basic deck platform mm -hmm. and uh, uh, actually th there was a tree down here which caused the jog in the base mm -hmm. um, in, it was in my way when I was digging the hole for the for the post so mm -hmm. that's why there's a jog in the in the building okay, and then you cut the tree down and it actually yeah I cut the tree down then it rotted off so yeah. it's okay. not in the way anymore mm -hmm. and then I just uh, you know I built my walls windows I'd find cheap um, because windows are the most ex one of the most expensive parts of a build, and uh, doors. I bought a, the front doors from a yard sale. Is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and windows people would give me, and so for so people would, that, so for people to understand the term treehouse, it's not. It's among the trees. It's, it's not it's, up in the trees. Exactly. Okay. It doesn't have to be in the trees. It's okay. just amongst the trees. Okay. So what you do is you 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 build on piers and you you go down what three feet. Uh huh. Blow the frost. Sink them in concrete. Right. And you're good to do go. Do a footer and then. Yeah. Yeah, and you start with the floor, of course, and work your way up. Exactly. Well, let's go in and take a look at that. Okay. Well, it is a nautical. It is nautical, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it to. I wanted to get the feeling that you'd be sitting here with Jack Sparrow from Pirates oh. of the Caribbean having a drink. <laughs> so hence the. Sounds good. So. That's that was the feel I was going for. You got your you got your wheel and your ropes and you got this old picture of the the old uh, the USS, old salts the old salts from 1877. Yeah, but you don't miss much though. It's rural. It's it's rustic, but I mean everybody's got a TV, right? You got exactly. a flat screen TV here. Yep. And what kind of how do you get your TV out here? Well, this one uh, is just Blu-ray or DVDs. There's no uh, okay. dish or cable mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. like that. But you do have. Doesn't the other one have a, a dish? Set up? That has dish, so okay. if you're wanting to watch the game, yeah, okay, that's okay. the one you want to be. This in. one you can watch movies if exactly. you want to. Exactly. Okay, and you could actually, I mean, you could put more than two people in here. Could oh you? yeah, uh, I I list it four to six. Mm -hmm. So you've got a queen bed upstairs. You got a sleeper sofa here. You got mm -hmm. a window seat which can sleep 
if you got a couple kids, they love that. Mm -hmm. uh, small you adults. Windows are always the most expensive part of a build. Usually, yeah. windows and doors get expensive. So they expensive. determine a lot what you use. So how did you make those choices here? Well, uh, like these two stained glass windows in the front here, for instance, I had a, I haven't got a good friend in Peak and that has a glass business, and she called me and she had replaced them out of a, a china cabinet. And she called me and said, hey, I got these two windows if you mm -hmm. want them. And I'm like, sure, I'll take them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Now, we discussed a little bit about the water issue. Yes. From, from, from December to, what, I guess the April end of March. 1st, April 1st, easily. April 1st, um, you turn the water off because yeah, the exactly. pipes, would, pipes would break. Right. Um, so, so we understand that. But what about heating? Well, the, the two tree houses are all electric heat um, and air conditioning. They're all air conditioned, too. Uh -huh. so, um, okay. So where, where is your heater on, in this one? This one oh, has the oh okay all right the inverter system. It's AC heat combination, mm -hmm. and I've got these are augmented heat. If it gets really cold, mm -hmm. I can, you can turn those. And on. that's an electric little fireplace yes. right there. Huh? Yes. Okay, good deal. And this has a little bigger kitchen, of course, because it's a bigger house. Yep. Um, but here, and again, you, you, this water would be working, but it's not right now. And then you have you have this jug of water for people for drinking and for washing their hands. Washing their hands, brushing, brushing teeth, teeth yeah, washing dishes, teeth. that kind of thing. Okay. And here you actually do provide some dishes and you got a little breakfast nook here. Exactly. That's kind of neat. Yep. <laughs> Microwave and, uh -huh. and of course. And um, the, when, when, you, when you had this in your mind, uh, this is, look at this, this is a beautiful piece of wood right here. Part of this is, part of this has its bark on it and part of it does not. Did you do that intentionally? Uh, it kind of, it, it's slowly coming off, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I didn't, I just, I wanted to do, use a post there that was more natural looking yeah, than a regular it's really, post. It's really nice, and it yeah. helps support the stairs. Yeah. So, and when you when you were conceiving this one, you you had the loft in mind, and that was going to be a sleeping loft. That's yeah. what it is. That's that was going to be a actual second floor. Uh -huh. So that's why you got more of a queen. It is a queen second suite. Floor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Where the first one's just a loft. Right. Right. This one. Okay. Well, let's go up and take a look at that. Okay. After you. Sure. Natural chair or uh, grab rails here. I like those. Yeah, they're Animals. free. They come right out of the they're woods. They're laying out in the woods. <laughs> There's lots of them, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so here we are in the captain's quarters. Um, an interesting looking uh, headboard. Uh huh. What's what's the little door? There's a little door there. What's well, the this was uh, another little thing that came out of necessity. This is the captain's loot. <laughs> so there's uh, jewels in here. <laughs> And doubloons. And a lot of bling. A lot, a of, lot bling of bling in there, yeah. So um, <laughs> that came out when I was building the place. There, uh, there was a hole here because that was the attic from below. And people would always ask me, what's that for? Mm -hmm. What's that for? And I'm like, it's nothing. It's just the attic. <laughs> and then when I got the bed, it's just an old antique bed I bought. I mounted the headboard <laughs> to the wall and I thought, well, I can make a little, little compartment. Yeah. And there's an outlet in there, so you can plug your phone in, charge it if you well, want. Well, that nifty, yeah. So yeah. then that became the captain's safe. <laughs> so the the kids, it'll stay. They'll find it and they'll be all excited about oh, it. And yeah, they'll put yeah. it in. The... Now this is flooded in natural light, and I love this idea that you had because you know you don't. You, it's hard to find big windows, right? Right. So here, what did what'd you do? Well, so, somebody gave me these doors. They're just full glass doors that they mm -hmm. weren't using and. And I just turned them on their side How neat is and that? made windows out yeah. of them. And then the window over the, that's just an old farm door. You mean that oval? With the, the oval. oval window? I yeah. just laid it on its side. That's a, just a great idea. Yeah. It's a great idea. And, and it's really tight too, isn't it? So, I mean, it's really, yeah. it doesn't let any air in sure. at all. Okay. And again, here's your, here's your vanity. Um, in, in, in season, you have running water here. Exactly. Hot um, running water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's go out because this always this still fascinates me. No matter how many times I see your <laughs> your outdoor deck here, yeah, because this is this is the facilities. This is au natural, right? Here's your outdoor shower again. Of course, yeah, where else can you take a shower there. thirty feet off the ground? That's right, and you know, really, and it, the privacy is remarkable too. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, really, even if you didn't have have it enclosed, you'd still feel pretty private here. Yeah. Okay, so there's your there's your hot water shower, and and the, you've got an out outhouse built onto the deck here. So. Yeah, and that I kind of changed that from the first one because the first one's inside, so you have a little bit of an odor factor. Yeah. So I thought, well, on this one, I'll put it 
outside, yeah. but yet it's enclosed and it's heated. Mm -hmm. Right. And again, it's a compost toilet, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So that way you're keeping the... Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans to build any more tree houses? I do. Yeah. Um, I've got you got several. the property here. I do. Do you have your locations picked out? No, no. I don't. Usually that's a last minute thing. I'll mm -hmm. walk around and kind of see yeah. what looks good, yeah. and then uh, I've got I've got the next one I'm supposed to build. According to my my, my mom is a Grandma Marty she shed. <laughs> so that's the theme. It's, huh? it's an honor of my mom. Shed. So okay, so that she's going to decorate it. And, oh, okay, well, that, yeah. you know that she'll have a lot of fun with that. Oh sure. And and you know you're you're you do have some female guests coming, right? Because oh. you have these ladies that get together I, every year to go someplace. And, I have girls' weekends uh -huh. and uh, yeah. So uh, I've got a group that comes from Des Moines every year. They've been coming a couple yeah. of years now, and they they do the winery thing, and they just have a blast. Oh, that's great. Now you also have just recently your newest acquisition. You moved an old 1830s log cabin from Missouri over to here. Yep. And that's your latest lodging, right? Right. Can we take a look at that next? Sure. All right, let's go. You really need a vehicle like this to get around this place, yeah. don't you? It, it makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, you'd be doing a lot of walking. Oh, my goodness. And especially with this ice. I mean, you get it's one <laughs> step forward and two steps back. Right. Nice. That kind of anachronistic with the log cabin, but what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could have a team of horses, I guess. Yeah, it'd be, that'd be great. And a wagon. 1830s from Missouri, you say? Yeah. Do you know uh, where it came from? Of course you know where it came from, because you went and got it, right? Originally, well, it originally came from a community called Fort Henry, Missouri, which doesn't exist anymore. It was a trapper's outpost. And from what I'm told by the historians down there, it was named after a Dr. Henry Fort. They oh. just transposed his name. Okay. And it was the northernmost point in Missouri you could go before you got into Indian Territory. So it's northwest of uh, Moberly, mm -hmm. I think, is where Fort Henry was. How'd you find it? Well, I had a couple come here for a tour of my tree houses, and they really enjoyed it. And uh, they took me aside when they were getting ready to leave, and they said, you know, we have this log cabin on our property, and we're not using it anymore. Mm -hmm. And we think it'd be perfect up here. So... I went down and looked at yeah. it. and You thought it would be too. And, huh? and bought it. Yeah. I always thought it'd be kind of neat to have a little log cabin sitting back here. What, what, what kind of condition was it in? I know, you, it I know was, you've got it really shored up and in really. Um, it, most of it was, in, was still, the logs were still good. The base, some of the bottom logs were gone. And so I had to replace them with some other timbers. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was, there was a tie log on the end that I had to redo because it was split. And was it sitting flat on the ground, or was it yes, on a platform it was, the way no, you No, it was in the gra on the yeah. ground. So, um, and it had been sitting there since 86, I think, is when they moved it. Mm -hmm. And so they're white oak logs, so they're heavy. It had been moved once, huh? It had been moved from its original yeah. location. Yeah. And then you went and got it, so you had to disassemble it, went right? Went and got it. What, what, what goes into that process? Well, it, it's, you know, I started watching Barnwood Builders then, <laughs> and so you got to tag everything. Mm -hmm. Because you got to, you got to, they all fit together one way. So you have to tag all the logs, and then uh, so you know where they go. Right. Sure. To restack sure. them. And how did you transport it? Uh, just two trailer loads of logs. Yeah. Strapped them down and came home. Yeah. How long did it take you to put it back together? It took me two years from the time I got it till the time I had my first guests. So. Yeah. Because you know you stack the logs and then they're not straight, so you got to move them around yeah. and hit them and. And you were able to do this by yourself, or did you? Pretty much. Man, that's heavy stuff to be moving around by yourself. Yeah, if I hadn't had my tractor, that would have been uh, mm -hmm. impossible. Yeah. Now, how about the chimney? That that you had to build a chimney. That didn't. That, that didn't. The original cabin didn't have a, a fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, it probably had a wood stove, from what I was told. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, and a dirt floor. And, yeah. But it came back together pretty nicely. Yeah. Well, let's go and take a look because it looks very inviting. Okay. It sure is cozy in here. I love that fireplace. Yeah. You, um, they were crazy not to have a fireplace. I'll tell you. When it, it, you know, I mean, that's just that is so nice. It, it just, it just makes the ambiance. Is, is that it real much stone, more. Bob? Is it? Is did this stone come from here? Or no, actually, uh, my sister made all those. Oh, she did. Yeah. 
out of concrete. She does the out molds. Out of concrete yeah. and then painted them. My sister Judy Harl. She's she, a she's the artist in the family. Wow. And she did all this. I love the colors that she chose. She yeah. did all my chinking too between the logs because uh, I was going to ask you about that because that's that's a uh, that's a difficult thing to to do. It is. I can't do it. Uh -huh. But she made it look easy. Yeah. She, it's really smooth, and those uh -huh. those are big, big spaces too. Yes. Um, so in, in the original layout, those were spaced. That, that's the way they were spaced, right? As far as I know, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. how that was. Yeah. Of course, that, it, originally it would have been mud. Yeah. Mud, corn cobs, and yeah, and anything else, horse, horse hair, stuff whatever. that they could. Yeah. They said when they tore it down, it was Missouri cl red clay, mm -hmm. and ho had horse hair in it, horse and grass, hair. and horse hair really holds things together. Yeah, it's um, the bonding agent yeah, that keeps yeah. it. So, um, how long did it take you to, did you say it took you two years it to took get me this two thing? years from the time I got it here to the time I had my first guest. Yeah. It took two years. Yeah. And you have a full-time job. Yes. So, you're working on, on week, basically on weekends. Evenings and weekends. Yeah. yeah. You're it's, a workaholic, aren't you? Well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a kind of a hobby, yeah. I guess. I like building things. And, yeah. Well, you're really good at it. Um, okay. So, you can sleep two here. You got a queen bed. Um, now there is a loft and, and it's very small. We're not going to yes. go up there because because we we know how tight the quarters is. But there's a queen bed, queen mattress. Queen up mattress there. up there. Yeah. It's memory foam, so it's comfortable yeah. sleeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kids love the the lofts. So um, when you got a family, that's usually where the kids go. And it's good to get them out of the way. Get them yeah. up there, and then they can play play with their phones while they're up there. Do you that's have, how it do you have a signal out here? Do you get do you no? Get, no. <laughs> And nobody really cares. <laughs> That's good. They like being out away from Get everything. those kids off those phones. Yes. Um, and there's, your, of course, your little kitchenette here, just like the other yes. ones. And you got a nice big refrigerator, which is which is good. Mm -hmm. um, and then the water, the water is always an issue. But <clears throat> here you've got that covered with yep. with, a, with a jug. That's the water, the yep. five gallon crock. Yep. And again, and again, at the end of March or April, that water turns back on and yep. everything's back and to normal. And you can take your shower. Yeah. Yep. Now, we all, I'm fascinated by your window choices again. And, and like you say, you didn't have that much leeway here because those spaces were already, were they already cut or did yes. you cut them? Those were already there. And those windows actually came with the cabin. So those are the, they're not the original windows, right. but they were the windows that were in it when I, when I got the cabin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those, the ones up above, I added just for extra light. Yeah. Well, it would be, can you imagine how dark it would be? They probably didn't have any windows originally when they built this thing. Not so very many. It would be that's, just dark as night all the time. You, you, yeah, that's you'd lose your heat. Yeah, have candles on, have light candles all the time. Exactly. And your flooring, I noticed that you're not a, you're not a uh, uh, really insistent on doing the floors as they would have been done. You, you <coughs> no, like the modern <laughs> materials for flooring, don't you? But these are, um, again, my sister, the artist, <laughs> these are uh, tongue and groove. Mm -hmm. One buys, and she painted them to make them look more like old and old floor. Yeah, well, they do look good. They do. And they you know, I nail them down, and there's no. Yeah. Um, oh, this is not a floating floor, huh? No, it's nailed down to the to the floor yeah. joists. Because uh -huh. I wanted that. I wanted a, somewhat of a modern floor, so it's easy to clean. But yeah. um, you know, I didn't want to do like barn wood, which just wasn't yeah. a oh. nice finish. Well, no, and you get splinters, and exactly. yeah, that, that's kind of tough. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know what I like about these. If you look at these logs from the inside here that this was made of, yeah. you can see the hue marks from yep. from where the uh, oh, they where, were the axe, where the axe hit. And uh, I have a new appreciation for the pioneers that did this stuff because mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, well, you know, because you were moving it around. Yeah, <laughs> you can imagine if you had to mill it, you know, get it milled and then. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay, so you had some recent um, excitement here. You had a film crew out here. I did. Um, some, uh, I had a director from New York found me on the internet, found pictures of my log cabin, and he called me and said, hey, I want to do a film. It's a Civil War film, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for a log cabin I can rent. And uh, so he asked if he, they could rent it for a film, and I was like, sure. What was the so, film? Uh, it's called Ashburn, and it's a short film, Civil War period. Was and, Ashburn the name of one of the characters? Yes. Um, and uh, so they were here for three nights uh, in October 2019, and they filmed all night. Yeah. And uh, I had to move everything out of here because it. And, all had and they to be, stayed in your tree houses while they, they stayed were here. They stayed in the tree houses. Well, that's nice. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, so they paid. They paid their way. Right? They did. Yeah. Good. They did. And Ashburn <laughs> is is uh, is is sort of initialed out here on one of your logs. So that's that's sort of uh, the second name of the place. Right. I've kind of gave it that name for yeah. a nickname kind of thing. Fort Henry slash Ashburn. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, We've, there's not much more to see in here. 
except uh, you, you had, out of necessity, you had to have a toilet here somewhere, and it exactly. wasn't going to fit in here. No. So let's go see what people do when they need to, need to relieve themselves. Hey, I love this old wagon, too. Yeah. I Where'd you get it? I got that out of a, someone's front yard. I just asked them just if they wanted it. to sell it. You just it. stole it. But huh? I didn't steal it. I <laughs> bought it. Yeah. It's nice. It fits perfect here. Yeah. While, while we're looking at this, you know, where you put this, where you put the chimney is used to be originally back in the 1830s. That was the door in it. As far as I know, that was the front door yeah. Yeah. where that chimney was because those logs were already cut out yeah. as, a, as a door. Yeah. It's nice. I like it a lot better this way. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the outhouse. Right. Um, now, this is this is going to be what it is, whether they have running water or not. This is where they're going to come to. Well, actually, yeah, but I do have plans for an addition off the back of the log cabin for a small kitchen and a bathroom, eventually. Okay. Yeah, eventually. So, but but for right now, for what right we now, have is, and again, we'll just take a little. If you're going to, I mean, if you're going to stay in a log cabin, you got to have an outhouse. Yeah, you do, and and it's and it's it's perfectly uh, it's perfectly usable and clean and everything, and yep. like I say, sawdust and. And away it's you go. the same toilets in the other two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been very, very interesting. I want to thank <laughs> you for the tour. I mean, I, I, I'd heard of tree houses and I thought, well, I, I got to find out more about that. Uh -huh. So I came to the right guy. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> thank you, Bob. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks for coming. Uh, I, I, asked, I asked Bob a little earlier, how old, how old a man are you? And he said, well, he just turned 59. I said, well, you, you've got three or four more tree houses in you to build. And he's, he doesn't quite agree with that, but he does agree that he's, gonna, he's, he's scouting his 20 acres here to see where the next build is going to be. With another Illinois story between Hamilton and Nauvoo, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, Illinois Arts Council Agency, and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you.